So we finally have the next species announced to get true Rex, and that's going to be a fallow deer. And since that announcement, a lot of you guys have asked for a fallow deer guide. And if you're looking to get a diamond legacy rack fallow before those true racks are released, hopefully this guide can help you out. So the first thing to kind of pay attention to for any species really is the need zone breakdown. And if you're interested, we have a printable spreadsheet in the Discord for all animals and all their need zones. So I'd recommend checking that out. I think it can help you with literally anything. But the breakdown for fallow deer during the daylight hours, because I don't really bother with night, I think you're probably hurting yourself hunting at night. You can't see as far. It's, it's a little more difficult. So the daylight hours, they feed from 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. Then they go drink from 9 to 1300. Then they rest from 1300 to 1700 and feed again from 1700 to 2100. So two hours of daylight, two hours of dark uh, at that last zone. But they have a really simple simple breakdown. You can catch them in the fields, you can catch them at their drink times, but as I always say, the drink zones are the place to hunt fallow deer. They are the most obvious. You look at a map, you can't really pinpoint feed or rest zones just by looking at a map. You can always pinpoint drink zones because the blue on the map, the water, is really obvious. So if you've never heard me say it, that is pretty much any species if you want to go after a particular animal, that is the way to do it. Hunt their drink times because you can always be pretty sure of where the animals are going to be. Now, I will say, if you're looking for maybe a diamond true rack roe deer, they just got the true racks. Uh, they were the last species to get them. Fallow deer and roe deer feed at the same time. It's 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. So if you want to hunt kind of either or, you could do it that way. But if you're specifically focused on fallow, I think drink times are the way to go. And because of that, we're going to go over my favorite spots here on Hirschfelden. The places I think I find fallow deer the most consistently, the most amount of bucks. And they're pretty easy to hunt, like you can see them from a distance, you're not really risking spooking stuff if you take your time getting there. And in general, I've had a good sized fallow at all these spots. So this first lake down in Schoenfeld is, I think, my favorite fallow deer lake. It's just really easy to get to, you kind of end up on that hill and you can see really easily, you're not risking spooking anything. And you can actually kind of scoot over and get a little closer if you need to, but I've definitely had diamond fallow deer here, I've had a lot of level 5s, a lot of big 4s as well. It's just a, a really good spot. I like this spot as my first one because then immediately after that, I can go to the other lake here in Schoenfeld. And lately, this lake seems to, for some reason, have way more fallow deer than I ever remember it having. There's so many more bucks here, just more fallow deer in general. It seems like I've got two different zones on either side of the lake. And actually, one thing I've been doing is coming in from, I have a tent on the east side of the map, but there's a big hill there as well, and it allows you to get up above. You got a really good sight line. It's a, it's a great spot as well. I've been enjoying that one more. It was a spot that I didn't always check, but I tended to kind of swing over that way. Now I think, for whatever reason, all those fallow deer being there, I think it's a spot you kind of have to check. And then we have the one over in Rathenfelt. And this one, it's always been a fallow deer uh, zone. For as long as I can remember Hirschfeld being out, you've been able to catch fallow deer drinking here. And again, you kind of end up up on a hill, you're looking downwards, and you can scoot in a little closer. They do tend to be hiding behind the brush when you're up on that hill, and that's what I did here. I just sort of crouched my way in, and again, a good number of fallow deer. I think we had four different bucks here, uh, although only one was decent. But yeah, that, that's a spot I'd recommend checking as well, and I should just say as we're doing this, if you've hunted your own map and you've hit all these zones and you're not seeing anything special, try multiplayer. Um, it can definitely work. I had my, both of my diamond fallow, I think, in single player, but I've run into a lot of diamonds in multiplayer just because, you know, maybe not everyone uh, hunts fallow deer or the host you end up joining has never hunted those lakes, so it can definitely work out. But anyway, the next spot is a really easy one. Up here in, I don't know how to say that, Konigsberg, I'm sure I'm saying it wrong, but you can fast travel to this lodge, and a lot of times you'll have fallow deer just sitting right there. I think they get stuck. But this particular occasion, they actually did just end up fleeing. But they'll drink right there, and they drink along the side of that mountain. Um, it's a good road deer spot, too, if you're interested in that. But, yeah, really easy. You fast travel to that lodge, and they're right there. And then after you sort of get the initial wave, you can walk up that hill. Just sort of take your time, because the wind tends to be uh, facing south, the direction you're going. And then you can have more fallow at the other end of the lake. And this is where my second diamond fallow deer was, so I don't know if that means anything, but... This is another one of those spots, and this was a place I had discovered more recently. 
Like those first three lakes I always hunted, but this one I found out a little later and I'm really happy I did. Like I said, the roe deer, the fallow deer, it's a really good spot. I think they're really the only two species that use that lake uh, and that might, might be why there tend to be a lot of deer there, but it's really, really good. That's another one that it doesn't take really any time to check, but it's worth it. And lastly, we're up into Petershine, and you can go all the way over into Spreeburg, but it's this entire river, uh, and I don't always run the whole thing, it depends on how much time I have and how many fallow deer I'm seeing. But this is another one, I've seen a lot of big fallow deer, I had a diamond fallow deer track in a multiplayer game where I crashed, uh, and actually, I just realized I have another fallow deer that I killed in my single player game, I guess I'm forgetting how many I have, but there was another one, in fact my biggest one, was right up along this river, so... Another really good spot, lots of fallow deer, lots of roe deer here too, and I've actually seen quite a lot of fox, so if you're looking for a variety spot, maybe this is the one to check out, but yeah, those are my five favorite spots. All of these produce a lot of fallow deer. They're really easy and quick to check. It doesn't take a ton of time to do any of this. You can fast travel around. If you're on your own map, place some tents, make it even quicker, and, you know, take out fallow deer and look for respawns, but I hope this helps. I hope this makes sense. Uh, if there's any questions you have, be sure to leave them in the comments. I'll try to look through and answer as many as I can. But again, we have that spreadsheet in the Discord that has all animals and all of their zone times. And like I said, it's printable or you can just like download the PDF and have it open. But it's a really good thing. The link to the Discord is in the description if you want to join that. And otherwise, I think that is it for our fallow guide. So hope this helps. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.